And I submit to you, ASEAN has learned something. I submit to you, we are better prepared for the next round. But I submit to you also that this reservation about inviting, letting foreigners to come in to help is still a factor. Here in ASEAN, one vision, one identity, one community, we are still reluctant. But we also work on a list, not a list, lists of people who would engage in this kind of thing. Rapid deployment, cut through all the red tapes. When my emergency plane from Thailand landing in Padang, southwest Sumatra, because of the earthquake, please let us get through as soon as possible. Don't ask for too many documents because life is unappropriate. So we are now preparing these lists called Rapid Deployment Team from Thailand, from Indonesia, from Singapore, from Malaysia, from Brunei. These people are cleared in advance. They are not going to be cleared when that emergency plane lands on an airstrip. And it could be an airstrip in the forest because the commercial airport was already closed because of the disaster. We are anticipating all these problems. We are working on that principle called the Murphy's Law. Simple law of management. It says anything wrong that can happen will happen. Simple. Just anticipate all the problems that will happen and try to be prepared. Have the tools ready. Have the package ready. Have the agreement ready so that you can cut through all these problems that you are already, you have already anticipated. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And I think this kind of center, ADPC, is really working on the two principles. To reduce the risk of destruction is better, cheaper, than to relieve the pain and the suffering after it happens. Second principle in the ASEAN, at least under my watch, was working on anticipate anything that could go wrong because it will, and prepare the solutions for them. What if the airport is all destroyed? What if the lights are all out? Energy? How can you land in the middle of the night? Can you work with the local authorities? Be prepared for that. Torchlights standing two sides of a dirt airstrip, 25 meters apart for about a kilometer and a half so that an emergency plane can land because of your torchlights in each other, like the lights on the ground. Luckily, we have this technology. 
in Japan, where there is an earthquake, you are having dinner with a friend, your phone is going to be with a different sound. And you ask them, what's that? Oh, earthquake warning. Somewhere. Big enough to give us the warning. And there is a system that is not going to crowd out your broadband. Because this is called cell broadcast warning system. Because if your warning is going to crowd out the whole spectrum, it's going to create a commotion because parents would want to know where their children are, children would want to know where their friends are, mothers would want to know where all sorts of things. You don't want to interfere with that. So they came up with this system called Cell Broadcast Warning System, SMSC. We will have to do that too. Don't just let our children use them just to play games or just social networking. Use them as survival tools too. That would be helpful. So ladies and gentlemen, after this speech, I have to go to the airport and fly to London. To begin a fellowship at Oxford. Many of you think that I'm running away from that politics. <laughs> but no, I have a craving for knowledge. I have a craving for, I don't know, to explore collective wisdom of humanity still. So let me end by quoting someone whose country I'm going to. ASEAN is very proud of this model of ours. We will be a community of caring and sharing. Societies. Our anthem, the last line, the punchline of the anthem is we dare to dream and we care to share.
It blessed him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throne that monarch also realizes that is better than his crown, his quality of mercy in his heart. His scepter, this my kata, shows the force of temporal power. Kata the attribute to all and majesty. Then Kunalaksana Kopa Naya Kwe Tijinya. Wherein did sit the dread and fear of kings? Nay Katana Ti Ukot Great Lord, let your great Let me tell you. But mercy, but meta, but Bruna, is above this center. Mercy is when Sadhana Tibi Pala, Bakla, Kata, Focus. It is enthroned in the hearts of king. Quality of mercy. Rathap nam yudai wajai. Kong kings. It is an attribute to God himself. Man ben kunalasana. Kong prapu pejja. Se'e. The quality of mercy that we have for each other, the concern that we have for each other, the preparation that we do whatever we can now, anticipating the time when we will be tested, how much that quality of mercy is in us. Whatever we are doing now is essentially shown to all of that we do have that high quality of mercy among us. And I think I thank you all the friends, Ambassador, who has contributed so much to our world in Myanmar. You know Radio Free Myanmar is an awful. You know Norway gave his practice to Madame Aung San Suu Kyi. But when it came to catastrophe, human catastrophe, Norway, as an example, could step back and say, it's time to show our mercy. And you did. I hope all of us will respond in the same way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for the insightful words. Now I'd like to actually open for a question and answering session.